what is the biggest difference between SAP ECC and S4 HANA? Do you want me to tell you that one, James? Um, yeah. So I can say let, yeah, let me, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go quickly first. I think okay. John has a lot more to say on this. Um, uh, you know, I'm working presently in a SAP GUI environment. So, you know, for me, S4 HANA looks very similar to what we see in ECC. Not a whole hell of a lot of uh, differences with, with one exception, and, and John's going to jump on that uh, in terms of business partners, which has been completely revamped. But aside from that area, you know, one could say that the S4 HANA looks, smells, feels very similar to what we're used to seeing in ECC. Um, and after John's comments, I'll circle back to there seems to be, you know, some resistance by certain uh, uh, customers to upgrade to S4 HANA. Mm -hmm. and, and we can talk about that after, after John gives his, uh, his, his version. He's going to talk more about Fiori. Am I right? You are spot on right, James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Fury is pretty close to my heart. You know, I've done a, a fair amount of work as an architect in this space. And I think if I think about, you know, SD in mm -hmm. SAP, this is the biggest change. So Fury. Um, so there's a user interface. It's completely different from, from um, the SAP GUI. And there's a couple of key differences I'd like to highlight. So when you talk about SAP GUI, we're all used to, and we know and love all those transactions, VA01, et cetera, et cetera, all those kind of guys. Um, that's still around. All that's available in Fury. And all yeah, you don't have to pick, you don't have to go Fury. You don't have to. You, you can just to. go S4, no Fury. You really can, and people do that. And I think, James, that's the project you're on now, right? Correct, yeah, but the SAP GUI, there's no interest in Fury at all. I, I should ask them uh, what, what happens, but uh, you know, I, I it's think all SAP GUI. There's a couple of call outs on that though. Um, you are, you know, clients are missing a trick if they don't go with Fury. There's, there's three kind of analytics, sorry, three apps, Fury apps, types of Fury app you can get. And these are key. So there's the transactional app, which is the ones that we know and love, the VA1, all that the create sales order, all that display sales order, all that kind of stuff. Um, there's also um, fact sheet apps and these are really key so these are apps that you can dive into that will give you an overview um, of of maybe a sales order or or deliveries or whatever and the third one which is the one which is the really really exciting stuff and this is the analytical apps yeah now these are the ones which you if you don't go with fury you're really missing out on because this it gives you a kind of a um it's a push model. I like to call it a push model. So Fury pushes the work out to you instead of you going and find it. So in a traditional GUI environment, you go into and you might run a report to show you all your incomplete sales orders, for example. Mm -hmm. With Fury, you can get that right on your launch pad. You can get that as a tile with a number of incomplete orders, maybe maybe restricted to your name or whatever. And you can go into, there's, a, there's some key apps like My Sales Overview is a great one where you can go in and you can restrict what you see in terms of a number of sales orders coming in, revenue, um, number of returns, all that kind of stuff, all in graphical format. And you can uh, and you, and you have double click technology to go right into it and all the way down to the nth degree, you know. And so all that stuff is provided as standard in SAP. Hmm. So for me, that's the number one change that we see for SD and it kind of pains my heart, James, that I hear you're at an S4, S4 um, project without Fury. <laughs> well, you know, it's, I do see it on a couple of my uh, S4 projects where they're not using much in the way of Fury. And in those cases where I have used Fury, let me play devil's advocate with it, John. Um, you know, uh, to use a Game of Thrones uh, reference, I'm going to be uh, uh, a snark uh, and, and a grumpkin on this. You know, I've noticed when I've used uh, Fury, I'll type in, uh, you know, the app that I'm looking for and the lag in response uh, for, you know, going through the browser interface. Uh, sometimes I'll type out the name of the, uh, of the app in full, complete, and it doesn't recognize. It'll just sit there and look at me blankly until I have to type it in once, twice, three times. As a New Yorker, I grow old, you know, like, uh, and I say to myself, you know, why? Yeah, it's nice and fancy, and you can you know run SAP on your on your on your apps and so on. But you know that's a significant. Has that been addressed? 
Interesting. Yeah, and that's a common complaint actually about about Fury. Um, I think in the later versions of SAP, the later um, iterations and the later versions of Fury, certainly in Fury 3, a lot of that lag has been addressed. I know you and I, James, have, been, have encountered this when we started, we fired up our own SAP system. Um, Correct. Um, I wonder we're, if, we're, I wonder if RISE would, is different with it would help. to that. Yeah, yeah. It, it, would, it, it would help in that region. And then there's a couple of, um, SAP have released some, a few, um, a few sat notes now to uh, to address some of this and one of the guys i would i would recommend that everyone follows on linkedin or on 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 the um sap blogs is a lady called jocelyn dart a uh, jocelyn and does she's a fury expert she works for sap and she's always posting about the new innovations new things in sap she's done a really good blog quite recently about the top 10 things you can do to address performance issues for, i wonder if for, she's written a book <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she should have done. Yeah. Can and you put her name in the on. chat, please? Ah, yeah. Can we put a name in the chat? I don't know if I have the, the access to the chat facility. Uh, um, but we will email that out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But she's she's she, she's she's um, think about when we come to think about Fury. One of the things which is really important is that SAP have already announced that a lot of the innovations that they're going to they're going to um, bring out in the next few years are going to be focused on fury and we already see that so if we think about some of the things in um that used to be in foreign trade in mm -hmm. sd and some of the things um for example in legal control um in uh, uh, and those kind of things um they've moved out some of that to gts but the stuff that's left um is in in a section called international trade mm -hmm. and that is only available through fury apps so you cannot oh. you cannot get to it from GUI, and I think we're going to see more of that more of that as we go as we go through. Which is why I think it's really key that people when they think about uh, yeah, uh, I wonder if project, customers you... had already like customized their systems with that, but you know didn't realize that if they you know standard yeah well um you of course all the customization you do in the back end anyway for in the gui but the transactions that you use that there are well there just aren't any transactions there's all there's all um they're all fury apps to go in and look at the uh look at um all the error messages and and set up the licensing and, and the embargoes and all that kind of stuff is all controlled through fury apps hmm. interesting mm. um so, so yeah we were talking about differences between yeah James, tell me your, your experience of business partners. Well, um, this does take a little bit of getting used to if you're migrating from ECC. Uh, you have a completely new um, uh, transaction code that you have to use to get into it. Gone are the days of BD03 and uh, XD03 or XK0123, uh, et cetera. Now you're going into a single place uh, with respect to your business partners. You have uh, a very important drop list on the top that you're not familiar with from ECC, you better let that become one of your new best friends. Um, and you're also uh, advised to uh, learn how to use the search functionality uh, so that you can quickly access your uh, your business partner's 